Oh, hey guys out in YouTube land. Hello. Yes, we don't have Rob jumping in at the last... Uh... No, that was not a very good idea, was it? No, no. After the last That's time... Um... It's mink line. Stupid. All right. All right. You quite finished? <laughs> oh, dear. I sort of looked like on the thing. Mind you, I got up. It's very... Yeah. Well, it is that time of month again for another nerd block. Um, I almost said something else, but um, I've got to keep remembering it's nerd block. But uh, it's that time of month that uh, yeah, we that open another one. Month. It's it's got that time of month happening. I'm leaving that little cell alone. And it's not absorbent either. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, we'll leave that one alone. Um, we've uh, done Rob. Rob has done his video for the nerd lock. I have not seen it, so I don't know what's in this box. That, that's the way. It's, that's the way. You're vibrating the screen, man. Yeah, no, I was because I was leaning on the table. <laughs> My apologies. I was actually leaning on the desk. Um, I, I, it looks like I'm growing out of your shoulder. It kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But it is time. For another nerd block from me. Yep. Now, I, like I said, I have no idea what's in here, so this will be interesting. Um, so. That's a good start. What have we got this month in the box? Don't you, know, don't you like how he was waiting for me to say something about boxes? Hmm. Okay. Do boxes come in all shapes and sizes. Yes, yes they do. This one is open with flaps. I'm not saying a thing, because if I say something, it's going to get worse. <clears throat> All right, we'll start with the t-shirt today. I don't know what Rob started with, so... No, I didn't start with the t-shirt. Ah. It's obviously another shirt from Shirt Punch. Um, once again, the description will, or the website will be in the description. That no, but it's Legend of Zelda. I recognise the... See, he recognised it straight away. I had to yeah. read it. <laughs> I recognise the Triforce, and I also recognise that, and so should you, because it's on my key ring. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. yeah. Funnily enough, I actually recognise it more from the symbol just here, it... because I've got the um, multi-tool from last month's note block on my key ring at the moment, which makes it ten times heavier than it should be. The only difference is that you can't open a bottle of beer with that. No, you can't. Well, you could sort of... You could try. You, you could try, but it would rip the... the <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. There you go. <laughs> I'll send it flying. If I'm sniffling a lot, please excuse me. I think I might be coming down with a bit of a cold. Yeah. Something yes. I don't really want to deal with at the but moment. It is that time of year. It as, is. As opposed to this time of month, it's this time of year as well. Yes, it is uh, winter now and it's been a bit of a miserable week, hasn't it, here? Yes, it has been. Oh, did I put it back? Oh, yes, I did. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just thought it. <laughs> right, put it back. <clears throat> hmm. if, if you see mine, you'll, you'll understand what that was all about. Yeah, I will eventually see it. Okay, so... Okay, so this is from Warcraft. A little plush doll from Warcraft. Um, that's a new movie coming out. To, I think it's either later this month or early next month. But it's coming out sometime this year anyway. Yeah, I thought... I was going to... I can't remember if I said it or not. But he looks like the Count from Sesame Street. <laughs> Nowhere near it. Yeah, it reminds you of him, but it's not. But um, he's part of the the horde. Oh, um, horde. The symbol on the back in the card here. Um, most Warcraft people know that that's a horde. So, if I'm wrong, please tell me. <laughs> um, and his name is Durotan. So he's Durotan from the horde. Yep, pretty much. So, but that's about as much as I know about him because I haven't actually seen the movie. So you wouldn't want to hoard too much with those claws. You know. And, and you couldn't hoard too much with those claws. No. 
So. Yeah. The good thing about him is that he's not sharp. Very true. By, by any means. Okay, so there's a piece of plastic in there. Well, I thought if you wanted to get to open everything, I thought you might as well open that too. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least it wasn't bubble wrap. True, because I'd sit there popping it. So that was another piece of plastic. Being environmentally oh. friendly with this. Yes, because it will go into recycling. Okay, an I, arcade block pin. I've completely forgotten what console that is. <gasps> Crime. Mm -hmm. It's a Nintendo... Um, Super Nintendo. I, I recognised it, but mm. it, it just didn't come to mind as to what it was. Sorry, I should hold it up to show you. Yeah, that is. <laughs> there we go. Um, it's a Super Nintendo controller. They were awesome for playing um, Mario Brothers. I loved that game. That was a good game, that one. Yeah, I enjoyed that. So, and speaking of Mario Brothers, we've got something here from Super Mario Brothers. Ooh. Oh, it's actually quite heavy. Magnets! Hmm. Let's have a look at these. Yeah. They're actually really quite weighty. Oh god, it's <laughs> Yeah, you can have your kids can have a lot of fun with these on the fridge. Or on a whiteboard. Um and on the other side. Oops, it is. There we go. Mind you, got, make the money fall down a bit easier. Yeah, you've got the Piranha Plant, you've got uh, the Coopers. Uh, I can never remember what those brown ones were. No. Hmm. You've got money, you've got trees, blocks, uh, Luigi and Mario, uh, Toad, the fire thing, the stars. They're all there. God, I remember that. That was a good game, that one. So that's the collector's edition. So there you go. <laughs> you can create a level, uh, design a new level, recreate a classic, or try the design below. So you can do any design, really, if you wanted to. You, you could actually create your own. Yeah. You could have it all upside down, you could have it peeping out from the side of the fridge. Okay. I have so many actually. Are they the things from Space Invaders? They look like it, don't they? Because that's what I thought. <sighs> um, as far as I know, it... There's, there's nothing there that says what they are, unless it's in the little... It'll you know, be on that little, um card that I'll have. I'll have to get back to that one, I think. That's that's left me a bit, hmm. Maybe that's the idea. Is, like, um, because it's a mystery block, mystery box, same time, um, because it's a mystery thing, um, maybe that's the idea, is that we put something in there that's a mystery for everybody mm. until you read that little card. But yeah. No I have a feeling it is Space Invaders, but Reminds me of that song, Space Invaders. It doesn't come up too often. No. There, there was a song <laughs> many years ago called Space Invaders by Planet One. You can Google it or YouTube it. It is very weird. It's about from 1980. Right, okay. Hmm. And back to the nerd block. Yes, uh, back to nerd block. I've got a metal tin lunchbox. Well, you don't see these around very often, actually. They don't come out with these very often. Plants vs. Zombies. Garden Warfare 2. I've heard of it, but... Did, 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 did the zombies eat the plants for the first one, so that's why they've got the second? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, don't know. But it is a double open. It's just like magic, isn't it? So it opens up on both sides, which defeats the purpose a little bit, if you ask me. Maybe that's for people on a dial. Mm. But it's a cool little box. Thank you, I like that. That's actually quite nice. It's quite weighty, though. Mm. Yeah, 
against the but bus. So. It's the proper thing. I haven't actually seen a metal lunchbox for um, quite a few years now. People don't use them, use them a lot these days. Not these ones, anyway. No, that, that's all collectible stuff. That is and definitely I collectible. And I won't throw that behind me. Yeah, no, please don't. Mind you, there's enough dents in it for me to be able to do it. <laughs> I think I'll just drop the pin. Yeah. Oh. Actually, they look like elf. Jeez, I just never got... The, the ones there, because I was, I was trying to look at some of the things there. Oh, dear. That, that one looks rather interesting. You wouldn't want to encounter that on a dark night. But, um, no, I don't want to go near that. Oh, crap, I've lost it now. Oh. Crap, I have lost it. Oh, yeah. Um, if you don't look too hard, they look like they could be Alf. Deary me. Once again, I've just noticed something else that's moved from its little desk or shelf that I've had it on in the past. Well, given what you've already seen. Yeah, well, that's it. Seen. It's um, having the Mario, Super Mario Brothers magnets. You've got the uh, pipe and toad. Salt and pepper shakers from a couple of uh, nerd blocks ago. So, don't you love the continuity? Yeah, they do have a bit of continuity con um, uh, throughout their boxes. And, uh, well, you've got to have box continuity, continuity, don't you? Yes, well, we'll leave that one alone. That's why they're all the same outside. Yes. Okay, so we've got the little cards now that uh, tell us what things are. First off, tagging in some exclusives from Sonic the Hedgehog and, oh God, Five Nights at Freddy's. And I, I like for Five Nights at Freddy's because he's he's played it. And mm. um, yes, my friend's phone nearly went smashed against the wall. It, it's actually quite amusing to see him play that. Um, we, we can't put footage of that because we can't. No, because I don't actually have footage of we, that. We so. don't have the um, method to be able to do that. Yes, we don't actually have a digital camera that we can actually do proper videos on. Yeah. Um, this June, Arcade Block will feature an item that is guaranteed to body the competition from Street Fighter. I couldn't get that thing, body the competition? I have no idea. This, uh... is, is that something that's been stuffed up, perhaps? Yeah, it's possible. I, I couldn't get around that. Uh, yeah, that's um, weird for me, even. I don't know. Mm, maybe just <laughs> wait and see. Yeah, maybe um, that's the whole cryptic nature of it. It's like you, you read that and it's a bit of a wait for next month and see what body the competition means. Yeah, well, as, as the only thing is, is that as long as there's not a real cadaver or anything, that would be that would be a worry. Obviously, can hit. Hmm. Even as as um, just like last month, they're also still advertising their uh, um, phone cases. That you can get from Nerdblock, um, which would be pretty cool. Yes, my phone is still slowly, slowly dying. Yes, it's it's. Um... The screen has actually come away even more, and I did drop it the other day and had a bit of a heart attack thinking that uh, um, that I might have actually broken the screen, but thankfully I haven't, and it still works. Thankfully, for and now. The phone does too. Yes. All right. So this is the last card that we've got. Which actually tells us what we've got. Uh, Durotan plush. Which is what? Which was the uh, the doll. Like this huge yeah. thing is. So Your... that... That's Durotan. Your voice of gaming reason has been found. In preparation for the highly anticipated Warcraft movie, you'll be able to show your support of the Chieftain in the Frost Wolves. Start your very own pack of wolves with this month's Blizzard exclusive. Durotan plush. So that that's the start of. So that that's the start of um, a pack. Something. Yes. So over the coming months, you're going to get more of this stuff. Yeah. So at the end of the year, you could line them all up, and um, then knock them over like dominoes. Pretty much. Fun. Mm. Okay. So the um, t-shirt with the gold triangle was a Legend of Zelda Triforce t-shirt. I didn't actually notice the pattern until I looked at the card. The um, Triforce is actually also the big triangle. Where did I throw that? 
Uh, it's up on the pillows. Oh, it, it blended in so well. Yeah. So that is upside down. Upside down. Um, that. Yeah. So you've got the... Uh, oh, this is so hard to do this way. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, we'll just... Ah! All right, righty So you've got your um, symbol of the Triforce within the picture, which I didn't actually notice. But you've also got a Triforce inside, just above the symbol that I was pointing out earlier. Um, clever. Very, very clever. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I never want to come off. <laughs> uh, Super Mario Brothers build a level magnet. Got a level in mind for Mario Maker? Can't reach a Wii U in time? Raise the bar for fridges everywhere with this Super Mario Brothers magnet. Um, build a custom level every time you get hungry or you know, check the fridge out of habit. The only downside is that it would look like a freeze frame, so it would be like a giant glitch anyway. Yeah. I just realised I actually didn't read out the t-shirt's little blurb as well, um, so I'll read that one out in a sec. Um, just so it is actually very hard to see this writing and it's very very small and on a horrible grey colour background um, it's, it, it's getting to the point where you won't need a magnifying glass you'll need a microscope yeah uh, so the Legend of Zelda Triforce t-shirt Naru Faror and Din have nev have left the, this golden relic behind for you to hold it near and dear the Triforce of Wisdom, Courage and Power is sure to get you through your daily battles and protect you from harm. Now, <laughs> I probably pronounced those names wrong and I bet you a friend of mine will probably um, have words with me over that because he's a huge Zelda yeah, fan. Yeah, he'll be corrected. I will be corrected. <laughs> so we've also got the Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare Tin, which I have to admit is actually quite a nice collectible, that one. Um... It's grow time while you're dug into the trenches and sowing the seeds of your victory. I'm glad you said victory. Defend your goodies <laughs> from the I'm, enemy. I'm with... glad they didn't get it around the wrong way. <laughs> sowing the seeds of your goodies to defending your victory. Yeah. Defend your goodies from the enemy with this exclusive garden warfare tin. Watch out for Crazy Dave and his lust for bacon. Oh my. So Crazy Dave is into porking. Oh my goodness, that one is so full of innuendos, it's not funny. Uh, so, Bacon Dave. Yeah. So, you put him in the oven and he's Bacon Dave. Oh, that one's good. Uh, what if you put cheese on top? I don't want to know. I really don't want to know. Cream we'll leave it alone. Uh, okay, so we've got the NES, NES, NES controller pin. Have you heard of the Loch Ness Monster. Sightings of this mythical being are usually only seen in 8-bit or at least poor quality. Show off your gaming pride with this exclusive NES controller pin. <laughs> As you saw before. That's the one. I think it's cute, to tell you the truth, because I haven't seen ones for so long. I mean... I actually have used one of those. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> so I, uh, even though I don't know a lot about the, these things now, get retro like that and it's more likely I've used it. Yeah. Or privy to it. I, I even seen. remember using that one when I was a kid, when I was a lot younger, I should say. So I, I actually know what those feel like in 3D. Hmm. Okay, now the mystery of these can be solved. Are they upside down? No. That's so, actually the right way. So they are... Uh, They're not space invaders, though. There's a direct knockoff of the thing. I know. Um, Zelda Life Hearts bumper sticker. So it's a like, bumper sticker. Like you really want to put that on your car. Right? Yes. Mind, mind you, you could put it in that in, in place of where people have my family. True. That's so probably the idea. So you could put that because um, it's clear. The background is clear. Mm. So you could put that on your car and have, and put my family. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, listen, you're sure to be the only car on the road or laptop with your life hearts on display. Show off 
show you're off. Radio, they've. This is how they've worded this. Show you're off your HP levels with this bumper sticker. Just, just remember that this doesn't entitle you to drive like a jerk. That is true. Um, especially with what has been on the road lately here in Adelaide, it's been a bit of a nightmare somewhere and sometimes. Mm. Um, so I, I take it the black thing is, if, uh, is represents a black heart. Mm. Mm. Uh, a life, a life lost. I think it is. Uh, okay. Um, then why would you want to put a life lost on your car? I don't know, but yes, what we thought were uh, <laughs> what we thought were Space Invaders were actually Legend of Zelda Hearts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Zelda Hearts. Zelda Hearts. That's it. Yep. But uh, that's my nerd block done. Actually, I have to admit, this nerd block was pretty good. I loved uh, some of the stuff in there. So that was the thing, because again, I, I didn't know what was going on there. For mm. me, it was a bit... Um, and um, yeah, obviously, it's not changed. Uh, so, but that's why I said in mind is that he knows what, what it is and, and all of that. So it answers the questions that I um, consistently ask. Yeah. Um which is easy to answer if you do know some of the answers yourself. But if you don't know them, it's just you got to look them and up. If, and if you don't know the answers, then you don't know the answers so that you can mm. give the answers to questions you don't know the answers to. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll leave that one there, I think. But on that note, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed the nerd block that we've opened. Um, check Rob's video out as well. Uh, put yeah, a like that's... and subscribe on there. Yeah, the, the editing nightmare. But yeah, Rob actually edits his own videos, um, whereas I do mine as well. Mm. So I just top and tail them now. So what what he does? Oh, there'd be a few things I'd be, but what what he does is that um, yeah, he he takes his in hand and I take mine in hand. Mm. So we don't take each other's in hand anymore. No. I don't have to um, sit here for hours and hours and hours editing but two videos, um, which frees up my time a little bit more as well. So makes it a bit easier on both of us as well. Mm-hmm. And we can upload them quicker. Oh, and you were going to... With Doom. Ah, yes. Um, just recently, I got a, a friend of mine who lent me the, a copy of Doom. I am actually going to do a bit of a review video on it. My first review video for a game in quite a while. So about two or three years. Two or three years, yeah. Um, at the moment, I'm just playing through it to get some video footage. On that note, we'll say goodbye. Goodbye. And... <laughs> yes. On that note, we'll say goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos. Um, so you can keep up with our updates that we send out with our videos. And also the Facebook page, which, which has got the old games ads on them that I've been finding. Yep. Some of them are real shockers. Yeah, there's, so... Yeah. There's, there's one I've just found recently that I've got that's um, interesting. Yeah. Um, it will be... Uh, I'm, I'm glad Rob can actually look after that and he puts up all the um, game ads he finds in the old comics he's got. Um, I might have to go through some of my comics and see if... Because his would be different. Mine would be completely different because my comics are not uh, the same as Rob's. He collects Archie, whereas for me it's more of a... See, my, mine are more things, of a collection. Well, mine are the things that you'll be missing on Facebook, actually. Whereas his would probably have, you know, skulls ripped off of things. Yes, well that's it. Tongues down where they shouldn't be and stuff. I will leave that one alone. Mm. <laughs> On that note, the t-shirts will also have a link in the description box below as and always. what was that? As always. As always. On both videos. And don't put AU at the end of it. I didn't. No, but I'm saying if you Oh yes. Know, it's, it's shirtpunch.com. Dot com, yes. yes. It's not an Australian site unfortunately. It is American. But Nerdblock comes from Canada. Yeah. So, on that note, we'll uh, say goodbye and uh, see you next month for our next Nerdblock. And I will see you later <clears throat> in a review video for Doom. Alright. Ciao. Bye.